our first one is the bubble umbrella. The sky is a, a long <laughs> curl handle umbrella. Um, it's a great one for expression and, and fun and fashion, but I would say it's probably your secondary umbrella. I, having a pocket umbrella or for one of those days that you're not sure if it's going to rain, having a purse compact is perfect. With this guy you'd probably uh, break out when you know that it's raining and you know that your in intention is to use it. Um, simply because it's not a, a overly travel friendly product. So if you're on public transit um, on a daily basis, and especially in our winters, this can become cumbersome to, to travel with. But if you're out shopping or anything like that, it's a great accessory to, uh, to take with you. So this bubble guy um, is perfect. It's colorful, it's fun. It's a great personal umbrella because of the slope of the, uh, the canopy. Um, and because of the slope of the canopy, it's also a wind resistant umbrella. So you'll find that if you do have gusts of wind, it's not going to curl inside out. Um, so there's no worry with that. The couple of take care issues um, or care factors that to make sure with bubble umbrellas is when you do get them home is to completely open them up and let them dry 100% um, and that stops the water from accumulating in the top of the birdcage which often happens is it will rot the top and then um, it's a completely unusable umbrella. The other care issue is making sure that there's no sharp objects near the, the PVC because they can penetrate quite easily and cut the canopy which also compromises the um, waterproofness of it and then the tabs here they're heat sealed onto the actual umbrella but if you try and pull and close the umbrella quite tightly and it's not ready to go um, you can run into issues of, of pulling it off so once you come in for the day um, let your umbrella dry open and then you just pop it down and make sure that you've got all of the little fans in together and all rolled around the right way this also to maintain the integrity and, and um, the creases of the plastic won't uh, become brittle or anything like that. So just furling him around before you try and do the pull tab and then closing up the pull tab, he is good to go. So our next umbrella is from Dav. Um, it's an automatic open and close and that tends to mean for a lot of people um, not remembering that it's an automatic close which can hinder the integrity of the product. So you automatically open it, which is brilliant. If you tend to push this umbrella down straight away, um, you're, you're bending the mechanisms and you're reducing the, the longevity and integrity of the umbrella. So this one's an automatic open close. You just pop him closed and then you can kind of push that in from there. This umbrella is it's a great sturdy umbrella. It's, um, it's got a nice um, diameter to it, which you can have yourself and a partner uh, snuggled underneath it. Um, it's, it's great to work with fashion, it's great with pattern. I um, can't really think of what else is great for Dow. It's a, it's a great umbrella, I actually have one. So then we go into a little bit of a longer umbrella. This is uh, what we call a baton, and it's a really, really sturdy um, umbrella from the umbrella shop. It also too has a covering on it. Uh, and if we unfurl the sky, Umbrella Shop has some great creative patterns that are fun expressions, um, but we always recommend this umbrella for day-to-day -day use, it, day in and day out through our rainy winters, public transit is great, um, all of that sort of stuff. So it's a wind resistant umbrella, it was put into a wind tunnel and didn't invert. Um, this one's also great too because it's local and they will repair the umbrella for less than $5 um, if you have any issues with it. So you're not putting the umbrella into the garbage bin every time that you have an issue with it. And then the sky because it's rigid, it's not an automatic close, but it does have a good, strong, solid frame to it. And then furling him back up is just as easy. Okay. Next is our possum umbrella, and this is kind of our um, fashion meets art meets function. So this is a, a great sturdy umbrella. Um, it's a great creative umbrella. This one out was actually in, in the MoMA Gallery which is kind of a cool little note about it. So this one comes with an accompanying pouch um, that ultimately turns into a shopping bag. So this umbrella is, is also great for a day-to-day -day basis. If you know, you're on the street and you need to go shopping, it's environmentally friendly, you have your bag. And then this guy is also an automatic and open close. It has a good 
sturdy frame, great creative um, patterning and colours on there. Um, and it's also automatic close. So again, don't try and depress it manually until the canopy is shut. These ones are awesome if you're on and off a bus or on and off transit and you need to, you've got your purse on, you've got a cup of coffee in your hand um, and trying to depress the canopy as you get on. It's easy, quick and simple. So once you get on the bus, you can have it just like this and then once you sit down and whatever else, you can um, close it back up again. So again, another care little snippet for, um, for compact umbrellas is just trying to unfill the canopy so it's not all wrinkly and then the same type of thing, just rolling it around and doing up that little guy here. That keeps the all the spines and the integrity in the umbrella and you won't, uh, if you try to put it in your purse it's not going to pull and bend any spokes. So our next guy, which on and off we do have some great uh, novelty umbrellas. This one is more of a hostess gift for someone that doesn't necessarily use an umbrella all the time. So he's in a wine bottle and this one's an automatic, I mean a manual open which means a lot of the time you'll find the frames are a little a little softer, they're a little more flimsy so it's not a day-to-day -day item but it's a great novelty, a great fun, you know, once a week kind of a use um, umbrella and it's a lot of them are personal umbrellas. So again, with a manual closed, just to press gently, and then what you'll find, let's fix the canopy. What you find with a lot of umbrellas is a little cap that's open. So once you furl and close it, depressing the pins into the cap will keep the integrity. Um, so again, if you pop it into your purse, you're not going to catch anything on it and bend the spokes out, which a lot of people seem to have a little bit of trouble with. Um, so this guy is a great gift, a great novelty item, but it's um, definitely not a day-to-day -day type of use product. Now our next one, again, it's another, just a, a compact umbrella. Um, this one is a manual that has... And again, he has a, a different frame, which the, the smaller you go, the more intricate the frames tend to get. So you've got more rivets, more pieces um, to possibly break. So being careful with the smaller umbrella is, is um, a definite must do. <laughs> so if we open him up, this canopy comes down. Um, it's, it's really quite lightweight, but this isn't one that I would use daily. I wouldn't try and force the wind <laughs> because it will end up inside out and um, that will definitely just depressing the canopy manually and slowly as well. Some people you'll find will just kind of shove the umbrella together, um, but that, that as well will kind of reduce the lifespan of your umbrella. I'm just taking a couple of minutes to fill the canopy back in and pop them together. And again, the little pins, if you have them on the outside of the handle, what you can do is accidentally pull the pin and that will, will bend and break the umbrella them all in. They're all safe. All of the ends up here are covered in. They're safe as well. So this will be a happy and healthy long-term umbrella, but not a day-to-day -day use. This last little guy for adults, um, what you find is a lot of people will have their umbrella like this. We've got the open spokes. We've also got the open top. And we'll try and just kind of shove it into your purse. And if you do that, you'll find that Things like that, the umbrella will catch on the outside of the purse and can ultimately bend the umbrella. So if you are looking to keep keep your umbrella for a long time and, and keep the integrity, um, furl him up nice and tightly. And again, I'm just going to show you how to actually furl it. You get the little wings of the umbrella here and then find your little tab, wrap it around, and do him up. And then again, these guys here, just hold it, hold your grip around the end and depress the handle. And you'll find that most of the pins will go inside. So you've got a nice, sturdy compact, which won't pull in anything, and he's good to go in the purse. Now we're moving on to the kids' umbrellas. Um, 
and they're, they're fantastic, they're fun, they've got great novelty, but they're definitely not toys. Um, as much as they, are, they look like toys for children, taking care of them is just as important as taking care of a grown-up umbrella. So with things... Oh, let's catch him. <laughs> My frog is jumping away. Um, with things like this guy here, you'll find that we have the safety knobs on the end of all umbrellas. So that's a good identification on whether or not it's a kid's umbrella or it's an adult's umbrella. Um, but what you have on the end are these great little eyes. And so what, what children tend to do is um, either push them or smush them. Um, so taking care of any three-dimensional wiring is a, is a really big um, thing. And these umbrellas here, they have a metal frame. So they're not, they're not good to wrestle with. So if you have children having a, um, an umbrella fight or anything like that, these ones will actually bend and they will compromise the integrity of the umbrella. Um, but again, too, if you kind of shove it into a bag open, it's going to bend the eyes, bend the spokes, and um, reduce the integrity. So just making sure it's all filled up, tied up here, you've got the nubs on the end, here's good to go. Um, one of the other things is children like to have it as a, a cane or a sword. And what happens is the end pops off um, and ultimately the material kind of unsheaths from the top of the umbrella. So making sure that kids don't knock the, the, the top part as it will, again, ruin the um, integrity of the umbrella. This one here, pretty much the same frame. Um, you'll find some of the canopies are a little bit shallower and some of them are a little bit more of a dome. This doesn't mean anything to the umbrella, it's just the style that... Um, each company and each brand tends to do. And again, this has a metal frame on the inside. So any banging while it's open will bend and uh, you won't generally be able to bend it back. And just making sure they fill it back up. And they're good to go. Bubbles for children. Um, these guys are great because they have a, a fiberglass frame which is flexible. Um, so once it's open, you still have a little bit of flexibility within that. Um, so, you know, for kids and, and kind of pushing them around a little bit, it's not going to bust the umbrella. But one thing that you've got to make sure is if you've had it closed for a while, um, not opening it up so quickly because what happens is the PVC will stick together and can, can if it does stick and seal together, it will um, tear the PVC. So just when you're unfurling for the first time or you, you haven't used it in a while, it's been summer for three weeks, um, just opening up slowly and you are good to go. A lot of the kids' umbrellas have like an easy grip slide, so they don't catch, even if you pull them down, they don't and won't catch kids' fingers, which is brilliant. Um, this guy here also has the safety ends. You, you'll find a lot of children don't have metal pointy ends, they have a plastic cover. Um, and then from here, you just close him up. And what we've had happen to this guy is the pull tab has been pulled off. So if you try and pull your tab and wrap your umbrella like this, that's generally when you'll lose the tab on there. So what you want to do is make sure everything is folded nicely and then find, again we don't have a tab, but find your tab at this point and pull it around once the plastic has been um, filled properly and you'll find that you, the long, longevity of the umbrella will definitely be a little bit longer rather than a week or two. So that's pretty much it for all our umbrella selection. Um, I hope you've identified with what umbrella will work for you um, and what's suitable for your, your lifestyle, your fashion and your transportation.